Founded as a railroad town in 1872, Brinkley, Arkansas, originally known as Lick Skillet, is the most populated town in Monroe County, Arkansas. Brinkley sits at a crossroads connecting Interstate 40 to Highway 49 to Highway 70. There are tens of thousands of cars that pass through Brinkley per day. Most people know it as the halfway point between Little Rock, Arkansas and Memphis, Tennessee, while others know it as the birth town of famous musician Louis Jordan. It was a frontier. It was wide open to be um, developed. There was a lot of timber. And what my grandfather, great-grandfather did was came in with partners and built these railroads all through here so that they could ship the natural resources out of here, like the lumber and stuff. He had a lumber business also, in addition to the railroad business. And so the railroads were the heart of the country, you know, back in those days. And uh, so he came, that's what he did, was come in and build the railroads. And then the, the natural timber and the wetlands, you know, uh, were the resources. One cannot pass through Brinkley without noticing its architecture on or near Main Street. For example, we have the Brinkley High School main building, Mercy Hospital on New York Street, the old Monroe County City Bank building along with other landmark buildings on Cypress, as well as the Missionary Baptist Church and Lowe's Bridal on New Orleans Street. Each of these sit at over 100 years old. The bridal shop's been in this building uh, since 1994. Excuse me, 1997. We were hit by a tornado in 94. But uh, we bought the building in uh, 1981. Uh, this building was built in 1913. Um, it um, was built because the railroad, there were seven railroads that junctioned in Brinkley. Uh, Brinkley was a bustling place at that time. Uh, there were 63 passenger trains a day that stopped in Brinkley. Because of this fact, there are many historic buildings still here. Uh, we have buildings that were built in the 1800s. We have buildings that were built shortly after the tornado of 1909 uh, that destroyed a lot of the town, but it came back strong. Uh, this is a farming community, but there's uh, a lot of history here, uh, people coming through on the railroads and uh, the highways that came through here, uh, Highway 70, and then the building of Interstate 40. Um, but there are a lot of buildings here in town that could really use some help. Um, our, um, this building, my husband and I bought it in uh, 1981, and it had been turned into government apartments under HUD program. Uh, all my years growing up and before that, it had been a hotel that People came and stayed, there were parties, there were uh, festive things, all the local clubs met here, and that's what I remembered about the building. And when I came and visited it uh, after college, the, t the building was kind of sad. It needed lots of help. Uh, and it, uh, it had been painted and the woodwork had been painted, the ceilings had been lowered. Uh, it was only fluorescent tube light fixtures, you know, the beautiful light fixtures you see now. And uh, my husband and I were um, young and um, energetic, to say the least, and we did lots of work to get this up and, uh, and running as a bed and breakfast. And then in 1994, we were hit by a tornado that took the roof off, put eight inches of water through us, and we redid the building. And at that time, my mom's bridal shop needed to be bought out and uh, changed in location, so we did that. And we changed the location of the bridal shop and we get uh, a very good number of people coming through here. <laughs> Like any town, Brinkley has seen its struggles. It survived the cyclone in 1909 that wiped out all of Brinkley except the Catholic Church. In current news, due to a 30-year neglect from a termite and pest control company, the Brinkley School District was forced to evacuate its main building to protect its students from structural damage. The 100-year-old building still sits on Main Street empty as hearts are heavy, that the building is condemned, and the town cannot afford to renovate or repair the building from excessive termite and water damage. Since preschool to now ninth grade, I've been going to this school, and I see no problem with it. 
I tend to keep all A's, A's and B's. I'm doing good. But for some reason, people see fit to send their children to a different school. And only then did I realize why. It's because the building and the place that we're in isn't of higher standards. The high school, for example, the main building. Two years ago, maybe, the Terminex neglected our main building and now it's in ruins. The inside is falling apart. And it took them nearly 30 years to acknowledge the fact that there were termites there. And I was excited to go there. I got one year there, seventh grade, seventh grade year, that's it. I wanted to spend high school in that building. I have a brother who went there and all I wanted to do was be like him. And part of that was going to that high school, but I didn't get the opportunity to go there because the main building fell, fell apart. And now more people are leaving because there just aren't enough classrooms. My children all went to school here. They graduated from Brinkley and now that I'm on the city council, um, I would love to see some improvements come to the city of Brinkley. The town continues to fight to reclaim its pride and effort into small businesses. Brinkley, Arkansas is looking forward to HGTV bringing life back into its town for everyone to soulfully experience. But if they could have a place to open a business and somebody would help them to fix it up, you know, and when the traffic got rerouted through Brinkley, which it often does because of the wrecks on 40, people could drive through a beautiful downtown and say, wow, look at that. I want to stop in there and see what they've got. We've got an extra 30 minutes. Let's stop here. I know they go to Bethany when they get stranded on the interstate. That's so what she's done at her cafe. But what if the whole downtown looked like that? You know, the better everything is, the better all of us are because it provides more jobs. It provides more things for even more people to come and visit. Because if there's more opportunity for people to come, um, maybe there's you know people that um, who knows what they come to shop for. I mean, but you know, uh, but you could come and shop. You can find things. You can even if it's small manufacturing things that go into some of our downtown buildings, which could be uh, a great asset. Um, just very small, you know, type operations. But the more people you have, the more uh, payrolls you have, the more um, um, influence over uh, bringing people in, the better our town will be. So all we need now is the help from our friends at HDTV. They're going to be helping us renovate the town or the main road. Anything helps because Brinkley, Arkansas is an amazing place and all it needs is help from two good-willed people. My name is Giannis. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona and I love for HGTV to come to Brinkley, Arkansas. Hey HGTV, this is Tim Armstrong from Dallas, Texas and I would love to see you guys go to Brinkley, Arkansas. Hey HGTV, this is John Barr and I would like to see you all go to Brinkley, Arkansas. Hey HGTV, my name is Tyler Davis from Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'd like to see you all go to Brinkley, Arkansas. Hey HGTV, what's up? I'm comedian Nate Williams from Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey you guys, choose Brinkley, Arkansas. It is a great opportunity for you guys. Make the right decision. We're ready for you. Yeah.